What up YouTube? I'm um, gonna try shooting this video off. The dog's being really annoying, but um, see if we get this video going. Uh, just an update on the 75 gallon reef. Uh, if you could see it in the back, it kind of blends in really well, but I got a new pump for this tank. I got the Max Spec Gyre. Uh, it's the XF-130. It's a nice little pump, and um, it's more than enough flow for this tank, I think. So, um, I got this pump because I have the, I think you call them Coralias, I think that's how you say it, but I had two there, I had one in the back, and one up on this wall, and I had it hooked up to uh, the Smart Wave that Hydora makes. Um, it was great, it was a nice little thing. The pumps were on alternating, so that one would go, shut off, then that one would go, shut off, and then that one would go, so on and so forth. And in conjunction with the MP40, um, there's a lot of flow in this tank. It's pretty nice, but I kind of wanted to uh, upgrade it. You know, if you can, you might as well do it. So I wanted to upgrade the pump. And um, I was looking at another MP40 or uh, maybe an MP10. Um, just so I could do that whole master and slave function on it. And I think uh, two MP pumps for a 75 gallon tank, you're getting a lot of flow um, and it looked good and the corals would love it. And I um, thought it'd be good. But when I set up the tank, there's not enough room back on that wall or back behind the tank because obviously the MP40 or the MP10 the motor is on the, the outside, the dry side of it. So, um, I messed up setting up the tank and I couldn't fit it. I don't want to cut into drywall or anything and deal with that. I didn't want to deal with moving the tank just so I could put a pump. So, um, I started looking at other options and uh, when the Max Spec first came out with this line, I thought they were ugly and um, I don't know why anyone would buy them, but uh, I've since changed my mind after watching videos of this pump in action, and uh, I think it's a great pump, especially for its price, um, it was a good option. I did have it mounted there on the side, but uh, between my overflow and the front glass there, this is just, I mean, it's like a centimeter or two uh, too long, so it's kind of crooked, and I didn't think um, just aesthetically that I could live live with the pump being crooked um, so I'm just gonna have it back there for now and uh, see how that goes but um, just a little review over the pump this is obviously the smaller model um, if anyone's looking to get one you see you got two separate propellers there you know your standard uh, pumps like this one you got one propeller and it sucks in from the side and just that one propeller puts it um, that creates more of like a, a stream flow as this has uh, more of a wider flow which I think is great it's it's pretty new so what it does is it'll suck water up from the bottom push it out the top and it comes this way and those are directional so you could aim it up towards the surface aim it straight point it straight down um, or you could alternate like the direction so you have one pointing up there one pointing down there which I think is a, a cool little function and um, rumor has that they're making kind of like an end cap for this so I think um, I mean I might be wrong on this but like you could just have the one pump cap it off and then you got another one maybe cap that off or I think what it is is you'll just have one so basically like I would be able to make that shorter and put it there which is kind of a waste but um, if that's all you need then that'd be great. It's just kind of um, geared more towards the nano people, I guess. But um, very happy with this pump. Uh, run through it real quick. Like I said, it's more than enough flow for the the tank. I have mine kind of pointed up right now, so you get a lot of uh, great surface agitation. Um, this is in pulse mode, so you have this constant. Um, constant flow where it's sucking from the bottom shooting out the top or you can have it reversed so it's sucking from the top shooting out the bottom and the whole time you're getting one of these motions or you can have it in pulse mode like I have it here and um I like the way it looks in the surface there it does look a lot better 
when I had it up here or I even put it here. I mean the power I had it under 50%. I mean you could see it. It was shooting across the whole tank. So a uh, really powerful little pump. Really great. Um, the little controller I have down there, you can't even see it. It's just black right here. It looks like the um, old I, um, what are those things called? iPods that they had a few years ago. It looks like an old iPod, except it's all black. Um, you got two buttons right here. If you could just look it up online, one's kind of like a, a setting thing where you switch between the settings, and the other one's more of like um, like an options where you you just do various like setups. But um. Great pump. Extremely happy with it. Um, maybe in the future I'll do kind of a comparison between the, the Vortec pumps and the Max Spec. But um, I would say one thing. You don't get quite as much function with the Max Spec than you do the Vortex. I have mine hooked up to an Apex, so you get a lot of control with that. But you get a decent amount of control with this, too. Um, like I said, for a 75 gallon tank, I got the smallest of uh, three models that they have, and I have it ramped up under 40%, and I got a lot of great flow in my tank um, with it. Very happy that I went this direction. But yeah, anyone got any comments, suggestions, all that good stuff, let me know. Thanks for watching.